Brought to you by businessblueprint.com.au We set up an extremely high standard of quality because we simply had to. When you leverage your image of that of the three tenors, three of the greatest opera singers of our time, you better be half good, at least. So it's not easy casting the show. Finding actors who can sing an operatic aria legitimately or, or opera singers who can act, let alone chuck in a few European accents. Not easy casting, but we find the best of the best quality. We took a genre previously considered high art and made it appeal to the broadest range of people possible, simply by making it funny and accessible. And the way we've dealt with our competition is to concentrate on those things that we could control, like maintaining the quality of the, of the brand and always seeking to improve. Obviously, you know, uh, uh, our, our brand is far beyond the aesthetic of the logo. We focused on the holistic experience for a, a client. They will find three well-mannered, professional, outstanding singers turning up on time in suit and tie when they arrive and when they leave. The show will surpass their expectations and the experience they would have had in dealing with the office staff would have been a thoroughly easy, efficient and pleasant one. Now, when we set up the US and the UK, um, we uh, got the inevitable phone call after two or three months with each manager going, it's going great, Mark, you're yeah, absolutely fantastic. You know, they were loving it. God, they're saying oh, they've never seen anything like it. The only problem is, you know, what are they going to do next year? So they've been asking me for new acts. So come on, Mark, Dale, come on, give me some new acts. And we said, whoa, hang on, right there. I had to curb their enthusiasm big time. And the reason for this is Mark and I had witnessed a keynote given by one of McDonald's top CEOs to a group of Australian franchisees. And he said, people, please, please, Stop relying on head office to continually coming up with bloody burgers of the month. He says, I don't have to remind you all that you have at your fingertips four, if not five, of the biggest hamburger brands in the world at your disposal. You've got to champion them and nurture them. We were really taken by that. And I remember saying to, um, saying to a lot of my... Uh, um, Manage, to, to, the, to the guys, listen, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Every time, you know, all, every moment you're spending on thinking of a new show and workshopping a new show and creating this show, that is a minute you're not spending on the three waiters. And we were right. The next three years, our sales figures doubled. Now, of course, Mark and I have a huge creative bent, and we eventually relented. And we, soon after that, started to create quite a number of uh, new shows, one of which, of course, was the leading men. And look what the leading man, once again, I've kept it simple. I've put it at a price that differentiates it from the best. I've made, it, I've made the quality clear for all to see and hear. In this case, having the stars of Australian Music Theatre, you know, it doesn't hurt. Uh, all the time, we are always looking to broaden its appeal. We realise there's people who are going to be in the audience who are going, oh, fucking musical theatre, you know. And so we, we, we made it fun, always trying to uh, broaden the appeal. And we turn it apart, rip it apart, put it back together again, always trying to find funnier ways of doing it, all that kind of stuff. And, and um, focused. And that's what I've done with the leading men. But back to the waiters. Despite the many copycat acts that are now out there, and you wouldn't believe half of it, the three waiters is still to this day the most booked corporate entertainment act in the world because it stayed focused. It did not copy. And this is why I guess we've been credited with having revolutionized corporate entertainment and why it's still known as the event planner's dream. But here we are in its 12th, 12th year, here the show is in its 12th year, and uh, with 80 performers, uh, it's been seen in 73 countries, with over 9,000 shows to its credit now. It's just reached 9,000. The latest one I heard the other day, Afghanistan. <laughs> Ever saw that New York trip was flown over to sing for the troops. Brought to you by businessblueprint.com.au